homeostasis what do you mean by homeostasis or what is homeostasis so homeostasis means maintenance of nearly constant conditions of the internal environment here what do you mean by internal environment so basically internal environment means inside the body that means inside of the human body and there is some physiological conditions occurring and all these physiological conditions are controlled by some feedback now what do you mean by feedback and how it control homeostasis and feedback basically means an auto response of a system to an impulse which is received by that system it means when a system received any impulse from any other factors or any factors which becomes excessive or deficient that means when any factors become excessive or deficient it generate auto response to a system and causes feedback and these feedbacks are two types positive and negative human body has thousands types of different system but all these different systems are maintained by negative and positive feedback mechanism but what do you mean by negative feedback mechanism and positive feedback mechanism we know that when some factors become excessive or deficient it causes feedback and these feedbacks are two types negative and positive but when we called it negative if some factors become excessive or deficient a control system initiate negative feedback which consists a series of changes that return the factors toward a certain mean value that means thing that line is a constant condition or homeostatic condition of our body when some factor become excessive or deficient both can initiate negative feedback mechanism because negative feedback mechanism cause any ian initiating factor towards normal or any deficient factors towards normal that means negative feedback mechanism always tends to this factors toward a certain mean value and maintaining the homeostatic condition and this is negative feedback mechanism but in case of the positive feedback mechanism we think that horizontal line as a homeostatic condition if some factors become excessive or deficient positive feedback mechanism causes if any factor become excessive or if any factors become deficient positive feedback mechanism causes excessive factors goes towards more excessive and deficient factors towards more deficient condition that means it doesn't control these factors toward the certain mean value or normal homeostatic condition that's why positive feedback mechanism sometimes called dangerous mechanism and it causes vicious cycle now negative feedback mechanism almost all the systems of our body is controlled by the negative feedback mechanism because if any system towards excessive or deficient it is controlled by negative feedback mechanism like blood pressure regulation we know that 
when our blood pressure is increased. This blood pressure is obviously harmful for our body. At the time, negative feedback mechanism is stimulated and negative feedback mechanism causes increased blood pressure towards normal by decreasing blood pressure. That's like when blood carbon dioxide level increase. What happened? When blood carbon dioxide level is increased, our respiratory center become stimulated and increase pulmonary ventilation. And because of this pulmonary ventilation, excessive carbon dioxide is eliminated. Excessive carbon dioxide is eliminated from the body. That is why it causes decrease carbon dioxide level in the blood or plasma. So, increased level of carbon dioxide which is controlled by negative feedback mechanism. There are so many systems which is regulated by the negative feedback mechanism like regulation of acid base balance, regulation of water balance, regulation of electrolyte balance. Both are regulated by the negative feedback mechanism. But what happened in case of the positive feedback mechanism? We already noticed that even a factor become excessive, it towards more excessive condition or even a factor becomes deficient, it goes more deficient condition because of the positive feedback mechanism. Some examples of positive feedback mechanism like blood clot. What happened in case of the blood clot? When any minor blood vessels is ruptured, this is a small blood vessels, a small blood vessels. What happened here? Think there is a rupture and excessive bleeding occurs. What happened here? We know that blood is clotted when the clotting factor is activated. But in the small blood vessel, there are little clotting factors present here. When one clotting factors become activated, it causes activation of others clotting factors and it works like that one activated another two and these two activated another two and a cyclical positive feedback mechanism occurring here so first of all one clotting factor activated eight activated two two activated four four activated eight and there is multiple factors become activated and this causes a factors towards progressive level and these factors become excessive and ultimately the blood is clot and this process continues until a clot is formed and bleeding is, is stopped. So here in this case of this blood clotting there is a positive feedback mechanism. So by this process positive feedback and negative feedback homeostasis is always controlled or maintained but we know that positive feedback mechanism causes vicious cycle but how what happened there when vicious cycle is occur suppose a man got accident by any road traffic accident RTA what happened? Suppose because of this road traffic accident, he bleed 2 liter of blood, 2 liter, there are 5 to 6 liter blood in every adult human, but somehow 2 liter bleeding occurs because of the road traffic accident. What happened next? 
it causes decrease cardiac output when cardiac output is decreased it causes ultimately decrease blood pressure when the blood pressure is decreased cardiac muscle also got less blood flow and heart muscles becomes weak because heart muscles can get enough blood when the heart muscle didn't get enough blood it causes decrease cardiac pump decrease cardiac pump causes decrease cardiac output that also causes decrease blood pressure and further decreasing of the blood pressure which causes heart muscles becomes more weak heart muscles become more weak and this cycle is repeated again and again until the heart fail when the heart fail the person becomes death and that's why positive feedback mechanism cause vicious cycle or positive feedback mechanism sometimes called vicious cycles because this process is repeated again and again until heart fail that's why it is serious condition and it's called vicious cycles because of this condition a patient can die so positive feedback mechanism and negative feedback mechanism control homeostasis of our body by maintaining any excessive or any deficient factors towards a certain mean value